Hello, and welcome to today's discussion on one of the most ancient and mysterious places on Earth. Welcome to Stonehenge. Here in Salisbury, England, approximately 4,500 years ago, roughly about the time the pharaohs were rising to power in Egypt and before the Great Pyramids were built, construction began here on what would become Stonehenge. And as Stonehenge was built over the centuries, it was no overnight project. Three important questions are raised whenever we look and excavate and study Stonehenge. Who built it? How did they do it? And why? Over the years, a number of theories have been uh, put forth as to who built Stonehenge, ranging from the ancient Romans to the Druids. And certainly the Druids used Stonehenge. But the most likely builders of Stonehenge predate the Druids by centuries, and those were the ancient Britons themselves. Now, since the ancient Britons are probably the people that built Stonehenge, how did they do it? The Britons were a Neolithic people, a Stone Age people, who didn't have access to the wheel, and use simple stone tools. They hadn't mastered metalsmithing yet. And yet somehow they were able to move and shape the giant stones you see before you. The large stones, called sarsen stones, are composed of a substance harder than granite. The smaller stones, called blue stones, were moved all the way from Wales, a hundred miles away. And even today, we're not entirely certain how they did it. That said, why they built it seems to be the most compelling question of all. Stonehenge has sat here for centuries, and people have looked at it and studied it, and probably the most interesting fact about the design of it, these circles of stones, are that they align with both the summer and winter solstices, the longest and shortest days of the year. That probably had huge ceremonial and practical uh, reasons for the ancient Britons. They were an agricultural people. They farmed. And so understanding the cycle of the seasons was critical to their survival. It also may have had religious significance. There are cremation burial pits located all around Stonehenge. And so even today, as we look at this, we're not entirely sure how they built it, who built it, and why they built it. But yet we're fascinated by Stonehenge. We look at it and we tend to think of ancient civilizations as primitive peoples. And yet, given the technology they had at the time, they were able to build this. A monument that has lasted almost five centuries and continues to fascinate us even today. Would you like to know more?